Good morning, boys and girls. How are my kindergartners today? Hope everyone is well. This is lesson three. We've learned about living and non-living things. We've learned a little bit about plants and animals. Today we're going to take a look at the five senses that we all have. What are the five senses? The senses are how we communicate and understand the world. Can you name any of the five senses? Let me give you a minute. Maybe you're with mom or dad. Let's take a shot at it. What are our senses? Well, I know that you could see a few things right now. You could see at least two of them. Let's take a quick look at some of the senses. We have five senses that we depend on. We use our eyes. They help us to see. We use our ears. They help us to hear. We use our mouths. They help us to taste. We use our hands. Help us to touch and recognize things. And we use our nose can help help us smell. But let's go through some of those things one at a time. Let's start with one of our first senses, our sense of sight. Let's watch something on it. The NBA Finals are here. Stream the action live with YouTube TV. Hello, little readers. Today we're going to read The Eye Book by Dr. Seuss. Writing as Theo the Sea. Illustrated by Joe Matthew. My eyes see. His eyes see. I see him. And he sees me. Our eyes see blue. Our eyes see red. They see a bird. They see a bed. They see the sun. They see the moon. They see a fork, a knife, a spoon. They see a girl. They see a man, a boy, a horse, an old tin can. They look down hole. They look up hole. Our eyes see trees. They look at rocks. They look at bees. They look at dogs. Our eyes see flies. Our eyes see ants. Sometimes they see pink underpants. Our eyes see rings. Our eyes see strings. They see so many, many things. So many things. Like rain and tide. And dogs. And airplanes in the sky. And so we say, hooray for I, hooray, hooray, hooray for I. As you can see there, kids, our eyes are very, very important. Our eyes help us to see many things. They help us to know what we are encountering in the world. That was one of our senses. Let's go to our second sense. Hearing what we do with our ears. Let's take a look. <laughs> I can 
can hear. I can hear with my ears. My five senses Hearing I use my ears to hear I can hear the music I can hear the car's horn I can hear when someone is talking. I can hear the music. I can hear the alarm. I can hear a bell ring. I can hear the birds. Excellent foundation. See you next time. Bye. As you see, or well, as you hear, I should say, our sense of hearing is extremely important. We use our eyes to help us see things. We use our ears to help us hear things. We can hear what our mom and dad are saying to us if they're asking us to do something. Grandma, grandpa, maybe they would like us to help them out. That's what we use our ears for. Let's go on to the next sense which is our sense of taste, one of my favorites. This is how we get to taste our food to make sure that it is good and that we can eat it. Our mouths can help us taste. Let's look a little bit about that. Let's watch something. Senses. I can taste by Julie Murray. I can taste. There are five senses. Taste is one of the senses. We taste with our mouths. We taste things every day. We taste sweet things. Max eats cake. We taste sour things. Ella eats a lemon. We taste salty things. Bella eats chips. We taste spicy things. Eve eats tacos. We taste hot things. Bobby eats soup. We taste cold things. Mila eats ice cream. What did you taste today? Let us know in the comment section. What did you taste today? I bet you you have tasted a few things probably even this morning. I wonder if you had breakfast this morning, if you had a piece of bread, if you had some eggs, 
Whatever mom or dad might have given you this morning, you probably tasted it, and I bet you it was pretty good. So, we've gone through our sense of sight. Our eyes can help us see. We've gone through our sense of hearing. Our ears can help us hear. We've gone through our sense of taste. Our mouths can help us to taste. And now another very important one, our fourth sense, our, is our sense of touch, which we use our hands to understand and communicate. Let's watch a little bit about that. The sense of touch. Let's learn about our five senses. In this video, we are going to talk about the sense of touch. With our hands and the skin all around our body, we can touch and feel the things around us. God gave us two amazing hands to feel the texture and substance of every object. Things can be hard or soft. The following examples are objects that are hard. Rock, hammer, log, hard. Say that with me. Hard. hard. The following examples are soft, pillow, cotton, feather, soft. Let's say that together. Soft. soft. Objects can be rough or smooth. Here are examples of objects that are rough. Sand, hollow block. Jackfruit. Rough. Let's say it together. Rough. Here are examples of things that are smooth. Mirror. Floor. Glass. Smooth. Let's say it together. Smooth. With the help of our sense of touch, we can feel things as hard or soft or smooth or rough. Thank God for our sense of touch. Let's learn. So there we have a sense of touch. Rough, hard, smooth, whatever it might be. Our hands help us to communicate with the world through our sense of touch so we've covered a few different ones we have we've done our sense of sight we've done our sense of hearing we've done our sense of taste and our sense of touch well that's four out of five we have five senses and our last one is our sense of smell how we smell things whether they smell good or bad, whether they make us happy or sad, our sense of smell is another of the incredible five senses. Let's watch a little bit about our sense of smell. Guys, I'm using Grammarly since high school. I'm going to tell you guys a bit more about Grammarly. So what the application provides is... Hello! Did you know there are five senses? How many senses are there? That's right, five. But today, we're only going to talk about one, sense of smell. Where's your nose? Here it is. I can smell with my nose. 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 I can smell a skunk. Oh, 
And that is our sense of smell. Whether it smells good or bad, it makes us happy, it makes us want to get away. Those, that is our sense of smell. So here are our five senses. We learned about how we see, how we hear, how we taste, how we touch, and how we smell. Those are called the five senses. Let's take a look at a song that might help you remember our senses. Let's take a look. I have two eyes so I can see and a nose to smell. I have ten fingers that can touch. They do it very well. I have two ears so I can hear the birds up in the trees. I have a tongue inside my mouth to taste the food I eat. I have two eyes so I can see and a nose to smell. I have ten fingers that can touch. They do it very well. I have two ears so I can hear the birds up in the trees. I have a tongue inside my mouth to taste the food I eat. Mmm, apples. I have two eyes so I can see and a nose to smell. I have ten fingers that can touch. They do it very well. I have two ears so I can hear the birds up in the trees. I have a tongue inside my mouth to taste the food I eat. Okay. So there was a little song related to our five senses. So, kindergarten. We've learned a little bit about the five senses and what they do. Uh, I'd like you to go on to Google Classroom with your parents and work on the assignment that I sent you about the five senses. I use my eyes to see. I use my nose to say it. Smell. I use my mouth to, you know it, taste. I use my hands to, oh, I already heard it. I use my hands to touch, and I use my ears to hear. I can't wait to see you guys live, but until then, work on our third lesson in Google Classroom. What are the five senses? I miss you all. Hope to see you soon. It's Mr. K. I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.